Okay. What are your thoughts on uh, Eli having his jersey retired on Sunday and what that means to you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It'll be cool to see. it be a cool moment. Um, obviously, a, a legend of this game, a legend of this franchise, and um, you know what he represented, how he played uh, for so long, and, and um, you know being able to be with him. Uh, you know, my first year was was a uh, was awesome for me. It was a huge opportunity, and uh, it'll be cool to see him recognized. Awesome for you in what way? Uh, just a, a tremendous opportunity to learn and, and to, to watch him. Um, to be able to talk to him and, and ask him questions, watch how he went about his work and how he carried himself, uh, you know, on the field, how he played, how he prepared, and then uh, off the field in the building, uh, dealing with teammates and and uh, you know leading this organization. Daniel, if, if you don't mind, do you like do you talk to Eli after games during the week or anything like that? What, you know, do you guys compare or anything like that? You talk about what he saw with you or anything like that? Is that the type of relationship you have with him? Um, we, we've uh, we've certainly stayed in touch and you know check in every now and then, but um, you know he, he's uh, he's always you know kind of been been someone who, who's you know been willing to answer questions and and um, you know I think uh, you know in his position he's not in our meetings every day and, and I think he, he understands that and um, but like you said he, he's played a ton of football knows knows how to play the game and knows what it's supposed to look like so um, you know he's been helpful for me. How's he, how's he doing in his new gig? What do you, you, you watch it at all? You like it? Uh, yeah, I've watched a little bit of it. Um, I think it's pretty good. He's pretty funny. He's got some good one-liners and some good uh, good commentary. It's been fun to watch him and Peyton go back and forth. Did he invite you on it yet? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I haven't gotten the invite. What's we we want to see your one-liners. <laughs> What's the biggest thing you learned from him? Um, you know, I think it was it was just you know day in and day out the way he prepared and, and the way he carried himself. I think, you know, I think anyone would expect a guy you know that, uh, you know that successful and you know who's uh, played that long at a high level that that he has a certain way to prepare and and you know I think, um, you know that's expected. But being able to kind of see it day to day and, and him go about it, being able to see him interact with teammates, interact with people in the facility, with staff members. Um, you know, and, and, and the leader that he was kind of in all aspects of, of the organization and, um, you know, for this team. How would you describe his work ethic? Eli's work ethic. Uh, consistent, you know, extremely consistent. Um, you know, he, he never got bored with doing the, uh, you know, the fundamental things on the field, whether it was footwork, working on, you know, something as simple as, you know, a three-step drop or a five-step drop. You know, you'd hear him talk about his footwork a lot and kind of a lot of a lot of those things. And I remember that, uh, you know, sticking with me early on. This is a guy who's played a lot, and he's still focused on, you know, day one fundamentals, um, and you know, the little things. The little things were always extremely important, and, and he was just extremely detailed and, and specific, and in all his preparation that carried through to every aspect of of his game. Was there any one piece of advice he gave you when you week? Starting week three of your rookie year, um, yeah, I think there, there was a lot. I mean, I think um, certainly the routine going about the week and, and preparing. I think you know I, I was able to see his preparation. So just talking through, um, you know, kind of how, how he prepared day by day, the things he looked for, uh, and, and how he went about his week. Talk about consistency. And there were probably a lot of people looking at last week saying is why can't Daniel be as consistent last week, you know, every week as he as he played last week. So I mean, do you look back and say, I would like that game to be the model of what I do every week? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, every week's different. And, and uh, my goal is to, to prepare as well as I can and, and play as well as I can every week. So, uh, you know, try to be prepared and uh, ready to go every week. Is that one of your better games, though? Uh, I, don't, I'm, I don't know. I, I don't think uh, judging it that way, you know, I don't know how productive that is. We didn't win the game, so uh, we didn't do enough. You know, I didn't do enough, didn't, didn't make enough plays. So uh, we've got to look at that and uh, improve. When you, when you looked at the film from that game of how you played, what in particular went well, and what did you think maybe were some areas where you could have worked on? Uh, I think, uh, you know, I think at times we, uh, you know, we, we attacked well and, and um, you know, kind of controlled the tempo of the game. I think we, 
you know, we're, we're able to create some explosive plays and some, uh, you know, some plays that kept drives moving and, and pushed the ball, you know, down the field a little bit with some chunks. So I think that was productive. I think at times, um, you know, a couple of those drives stalled and, and uh, whether it was penalties or whether it was uh, negative plays or, or, you know, situations that kept us from, from continuing drives, um, you know, on the fringe, uh, you know, in some of those spots we, we've got to be better in. Daniel, do you do you enjoy the running element, the quarterback running element of the offense, and do, do you get into a game differently when it's going? Uh, yeah, I, I enjoy that part of the game. I think um, you know that's been a big part of this system, um, you know, in the past, and, and was you know part of what we did last year. So um, I enjoy that part of the game, and when those opportunities are there, I certainly uh, you know look forward to taking advantage of them. So um, yeah. I think that some people underestimate that part of your game. Do, do you feel like that's the case? And do you like maybe surprising some people and some defenses who aren't super familiar with you about your, your mobility and your ability to get away down the field? Uh, yeah, you know, whether uh, it's hard to tell whether they're surprised or not. You know, if the, if the opportunity's there, you take it. If it's not, you don't. So, uh, you know, it's just kind of dependent on, on how they're playing and, and what they're doing. Uh, defensively and, and uh, just try to take advantage of them. Yeah, you, know, we, you know, I think the first eight questions or so were, were about the former quarterback here. You know, how hard is it to, that's a tough act to follow. How hard has that been for you? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it was, uh, you know, like I said, I, I think I was, uh, I always looked at it, uh, you know, as an awesome opportunity to be, be behind him and, and be with him for that year and, and have that relationship, be able to learn from him and, and look to what, what he was able to do uh, in his time, all he accomplished and the level that he you know, played at. So, um, you know, that's kind of how I, how I look at it. And, um, you know, I, I certainly have a ton of respect and, and uh, you know, respect him and, and all he accomplished. Do you think you'll, do you think you'll kind of take a peek at halftime or try to get out early and see the ceremony? Um, I don't know. I mean, halftime's pretty quick, and we've got to make some adjustments, and we've got to be focused on what we're doing in the game. So, um, you know, that's where that's where we'll be focused. Um, you know, but but certainly happy for him, and, and certainly, uh, you know, well deserved. When you I know Joe, I know Joe preaches patience, uh, but zero and two. You, you've been there before at zero and three. Uh, how dangerous is the prospect of falling to zero and three, and and how big does that make this game? Uh, every game, every game's big. You know, I think, um, you know, it's been, uh, you know, I think we, we look at this week and, and the goal is to win this week, to, to be 1-0 this week. So, so that's where we're focused, um, improving from last week. Obviously, we didn't do what we needed to do to win the game. So uh, we've got to look at that and, uh, and make sure we're ready for this week. But, but our focus is here on, on Atlanta and making sure we uh, play as well as we can.